everyone, Theresa here. I thought I would uh, give you a look at uh, my cupcakes. It's been, oh, I guess about 16 hours since I poured them. Um, these are my cupcake soaps. They're um, lavender and lemon. Um, they look okay. I mean, of course, they didn't change much since the last time I showed you. Uh, but I decided to check them to see if, um, if they had hardened up at all and, um, much to my surprise and disappointment, they have really not hardened that much. Let me show you with this one. Uh, you can see it's not hard at all. You see it moving there? It's really not hard at all. Uh, they're still just as smushy and, um, well, I mean, they're harder than they were last night, that's for sure, but they are definitely not anywhere near as hard as I thought that they would be, uh, this close to being 24 hours old. Um, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure, um what I could have possibly have done wrong. Uh, I've checked my recipe. I've looked online at other recipes. And to be honest with you, my recipe isn't all that different. Uh, I mean, it's definitely my own. I, I didn't, I don't use anyone else's recipe. I, uh, I always go to SoapCal.com and enter in my own blend of oils and butters and additives and whatever else to determine what my batch is going to be. Um, I always make sure, you know, they have at the bottom where they give you the ideal, ideal, um, hardness and, and soapiness. And I always try to make sure to mix my oils in, in a way that it will give me, um, the, at least, at least, um, medium range of hardness. I always try to make sure that I get, um, the most, uh, cleanliness and, and, uh, and, um, lather and all that stuff, hardness, you know, all of it. Um, I try to, I try to max that out to, to, uh, to the best of my oil's ability, I guess you would say. And this recipe, um, it was, well, I have it here, and I'm not going to put it on camera to be exact, but um, the hardness was, the suggested range of hardness was between 29 and 54. Mine was at 39. Um, the cleansing, the cleansing uh, suggested range was between 12 and 22 and mine's at 20. Uh, the conditioning, the uh, suggested range was for between 44 and 69. Mine was at 57. The bubble, the bubbly, the bubbliness <laughs> was uh, suggested at 14 to 46 and I have at 20. Uh, creamy was between 16 and 48. Mine's on the lower end at at uh, 19 so as you can see I mean I'm not um, I'm not really you know that far off of any of the suggested ranges um, and my total weight was 32 ounces uh, the water as a percent of oil weight was 38 percent I was super fatted at 5 percent my lye concentration was at 27.077%, uh, and my water to lye ratio was at 26, or 2.693 to 1. So, I'm not really sure why this batch is not getting hard. I don't really know. Uh, when I compare these numbers to my other recipe um from my first loaf um this is actually looks to be a better recipe and it's actually supposed to be harder 
than my other recipe. Uh, but the other recipe um, was soft when I cut it at 24 hours, but by I think 36 or 48 hours it was, you know, it was really nice and hard. So I don't know. Maybe in in another four to six hours. I don't know. So anyway, um, this is where we're at. Like I say, um, you can see here that they are they are not anywhere near. They I can pick them up and turn them over, so they're not runny. But they're definitely too soft. I would never be able to get them out of the mode this way. If I actually, if I touch it right here, I know you shouldn't, don't do this, but if I touch it, you can see it leaves a fingerprint there. You see it right there. So, yeah. Anyway, if you have any tips on what I might have done wrong, um... I'd appreciate it if you let me know. Uh, I could tell you, uh, if you if you have a tip or you need more information, you could PM me and I would, um, here on, on YouTube, um, and I'll be happy to answer you. Um, but I'm happy to tell you what I need to know, or what you need to know to maybe point me in the right direction, but I'm at a loss. All right, until next time, see you later. Bye-bye. Happy soaping.